Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog. <laughs> Say hi to Marley. Thank you so much for uh, watching my vlogs and um, and I really hope you all enjoy them. I try to keep them as interesting as possible. I know they're really long. Um, I have a lot of things going on and just really like, um, I like sharing the, the growth of my business and how it's it's going and the direction we're going and I really appreciate you all supporting us in merchandising and purchasing from our plant shop uh, with everything uh, that we do and I and sharing my videos and liking them I really really appreciate that um, thank you in today's uh, vlog in this week's vlog I should say um, I purchased a couple things so I have this really huge begonia here I got this one from one of my favorite plant shops uh, Jackson's home and garden and so what I'm going to do in this week's vlog is uh, share with you all how to propagate a begonia using uh, vermiculite you can find this at Jackson's home and garden for like 10 bucks um, and you get a really good size because with it you don't you don't need to you with vermiculite you don't need to use a lot um, you just need to use a little bit because it retains that moisture in it um, so um, a little goes a long way. So with this, uh, you just so you cut your your so you cut your leaf, and then you place it into the vermiculite. The vermic vermic the vermiculite uh, is strong enough to hold the leaf itself, so that way it doesn't fall over and start causing root like causing rot to the leaf itself, and actually starts to produce um, viable roots, which are pretty quicker. Then, uh, from what I've noticed, uh, then like with soil or uh, with water or even with sphagnum moss, it's almost um, like sphagnum moss, but it's faster. Um, it's kind of like if you propagate Hoyas uh, through per perlite, it's kind of like that same process. So, um, uh, that's I uh, hope you all uh, can understand that, and I hope I, I explained that as best as I could. Um, and I'll show, uh, and I'm going to show you all within the vlog as well um, how I do that. But first, I'm going to have some coffee. <laughs> By the way, um, y'all like my new setup? It's <laughs> it's a little interesting, I know, because I have this PC PVC P I have this PVC pipe uh, right in front of, in the middle of it, but that's because it uh, it holds my grow light. And the light kind of just reflects it all throughout this whole space, so that's really nice. And I don't really keep it um, really bright, and it and it goes very far. And so this this space is like my little retail space. <laughs> so I'm gonna show y'all um, some new plants that I that I've arrived, and I hope y'all all enjoy it. Um, so I'm really working really really I'm working really hard to. Um, get all these new plants uh, that I really like and I believe a lot of people want and are a little harder to find and I, I so I could like ship them to you and I can also um, you can also pick them up on site here's a, a Hoya tricolor very long I like trailing plants and I'm sure a lot of other people like trailing plants too so that's how um, I have my little store. It's like I, I want to set it up the way I want to. Sh I shop in plant stores and how I think other people like to shop in plant stores. You know, we all like to get those big full but uh, plants and then also uh, trailing plants and just like you know, like something really healthy. And I I wipe the leaves almost every day, and uh, you know they're in grow light, so they're pretty much growing all the time, and your plant will always be healthy and good I'm just like oh, this is such a nice begonia y'all look at it Jackson's oh my god I almost went you know, I almost bought like all their begonias all their big begonias like this I just had a I had a getaway <laughs> plus someone else might want to enjoy them as well I saw some ladies behind me like should I get them and I'm like Y'all should get these. <laughs> get everything here. They're so good. Look at that little baby. Oh my god. I can't wait to propagate it. Alright. 
today I got really busy after my little coffee break but um, I ended up going to Jackson's and I got this really cool begonia and I also uh, picked up some vermiculite because I want to show you all how to uh, root a how to propagate your begonia with vermiculite um, it's something that I was trying I've been trying to do and just kind of like show y'all like all different kind of ways that you can propagate your plants and also um, enjoy them in various ways so what you're gonna do is get some sterile uh, scissors I have my little uh, sterile scissors over here they're old don't judge the scissors <laughs> but we're going to want to take a cutting from this and so I thought right here so I just want to show you how big these these are how awesome is this like they're just so huge So you want to get a uh, nice, uh, ma mature, and also um, not damaged leaf. Um, then you want to cut the stem that much. The stem is where it carries the energy. Um, and then right under here, you see these uh, veins. You're going to cut along the veins right here and right here and then place it into the the growing medium and it will root um, babies from there i've been trying to do this um this process does not work for me with soil i know it works with people with soil that way but not for me um and that, so i've been trying to figure out well what way does does it work for me and i've now have the chance of trying it with uh, vermiculite and i'm going to try it place in this little like container that I have over here for those of y'all that um, use perlite this is also that kind of method of using perlite but instead using uh, vermiculite it's airy it's very light but it retains moisture enough and it holds down your propagation so that way it doesn't damage the leaf with uh, with the water so you're just basically like this and then you place it on top I'm going to cut the stem a little bit. Then you want to like, you can use your fingers. And then just cut along these little veins. And each cut that you make on a vein is where the new babies are going to come from. As you see if I have pulled this a little bit you see those slips that's where I've, I've made those little cuts and along those little cuts is where the new begonias will emerge from for placing it you want to water it just kind of like So I use this much of, of, of water. <clears throat> Just trying to see. Well, this is how much I use from water. Um, and if you can see in the bottom, all this is right right here is where the water is retained. And then just place it in there. grab something heavy and then place it on top along along the leaf like so so it, it like holds it all the way down and then you're gonna want to put it in a humid uh, humid uh, place so uh, you can either put a lid 
on this, like on that, or um, place it in a uh, terrarium setting. So like a tote would be uh, appropriate as well um, for that. And then um, I would say about a week, you would see a little bit of like some growth. And then in a month or two, well, you'll definitely see some growth um, from it. But this is how I, how I'm trying it. This is my first time trying vermiculite, but I've studied how to um, go about it, and I really hope this works because this is one of my now like favorite begonias that I saw, and I'm just like, I gotta have. <laughs> so I'll show y'all updates on my social media. Um, if you're gonna water it, make sure you don't water the on top of the leaf and just water. Um, in like on this part where the leaf is not um, touching it. Hi everyone, so today I have this package I just received. My friend Erin, she owns a macrame website with also other options on there and she has this one where um, I was looking at that has like a propagation station and I was like, I gotta have this. This is this is amazing. So I told her about, I asked her, she's like, she, so she makes all these herself and um, she is located in Burleson, Texas. I'll put her website on the screen and links down below and everything. So you can go check out her amazing website. I believe in like supporting other amazing green companies. And so she's awesome. Uh, and so y'all should check her out. Uh, I got this in like about two, two days, two, three days. Um, very cool. Let's get open. Let's get to opening this. So, um, this is how your package will arrive. How cool is that? Her company, her company is called Hippie Plant Hangs. She has a Facebook group, um, Hippie, Fa Hippie Plant Hangs uh, group, and then she also has a website, HippiePlantHangs.com. Ooh. So this is how her packaging arrives. Oh, a little card with her little social media links and everything. So y'all could go check her out. Another one. And one more. I only ordered two. I wonder what she sent. I did, uh, they had this option where, um, this mystery option. I love mystery options for shops, especially like when they're like, fun and uh you just want, like i just want to know like i don't sometimes i'm just like i want to i want to i don't want to know what i'm getting i just kind of want to be be surprised and um yeah so let's see oh i love the little color scheme she she goes with it's so cute oh no i wanted to keep that Ooh. How cute is this? Oh my god. So this is a propagation station. You can put your little props right here um, and then hang it. So adorable. Ooh, this is her mystery one that I, 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 I received love it I, I i love this look at that detailing how cool is that she makes this like she makes this herself this is so cool y'all should go definitely look at her site and you're gonna you're just gonna be like in love just as much as i was and she's getting some new options as well oh i didn't know that look at the little oh. She sent me little prop uh, bottles too. I gotta put these in. <laughs> um, your little propagation station and it has a little uh, jar right in there. So cute. Um, I definitely recommend her website and y'all should def definitely go look at look at it. I'm gonna I'm definitely just gonna hang these and start propagating already. <laughs> So I've been busy reorganizing the studio um, and selling some plants today and 
through Instagram and also on site. So I really appreciate y'all for um, supporting me that way. And I really hope you enjoy your plant when it arrives. Um, so this is what I got so far. I ordered some furniture from Amazon and uh, I got some stuff uh, built. I'm almost done with the second one. I have three um, that I bought and I already built one. I'm almost finished with the second one. So I'll show y'all. Um, and also don't mind the Chinese takeout in the back. That's what I was eating <laughs> in the root beer. Gotta love the root beer. That's one of them. And then I have my little propagation station that I received today from my friends. Um, that I received today from my friends site. She does. She makes these uh, really pretty uh, macrame hangers, and I got, I got this one that's a, a propagation station. Now I needed. I wanted one over here so that way the grow light can uh, can help out over here, and so that's that's really nice. And I put one. I got another one and I put it in the in the living room. This is the second one. Sorry about the mess in the back. I've been <laughs> organizing and getting all these uh, boxes together, and so that way I can uh, put some away for shipping, and then um, just everything else that I need to do. My little studio, my little light box, and then my humidifier. I'm gonna do this uh, project where I show y'all how, um, where I show y'all how to plant your potatoes from the grocery store. I think it's really important so to show people how to do that because I mean, like, dude, free potatoes, free French fries, right? So that's where I'm going with it. I got my tomatillo, my French fries going. Y'all, I'm going to be opening up my own organic fast food watch. <laughs> um, but yeah, stay tuned. Alright everyone, so this is my new shelf. What do y'all think? I think it took me about <laughs> like five hours to build this shelf. The little screw it came with, I, it, was, it came with the, the little like uh, Allen, you know, the little Allen screw. It just took forever, and I couldn't find my screwdriver, but I got it done. This is what I have for now. There's one more coming in um, for my propagation and all that stuff, and it will go right over here. So all that will be more organized. I really am excited, and I'm really thankful for all y'all to like join my journey on my plant shop, building it and getting it all situated. Thank you all. Hi everyone, um, I just finished filming my um, new video, it's a begonia, it's my begonia um, care guide video, I explain lighting, watering, humidity, uh, propagations, and my tips in there, um, and then I've updated it from the, I believe I had a previous begonia care guide video, but if not I've, um, I've added, I've included some I've included some new things that I've learned and then also some uh because we're always learning and we're always growing and that's that's the whole point you know like there's new information that I grow grow with I would love to share it with you all because I believe in like always making um a better community and then also a stronger community um and knowledge, knowledge is power, and especially plants and uh, the way everything is going. A lot of people are interested in plants, and it's really, really, really important for everybody to understand how to take care of their plants, especially, um, especially that the the ones that really uh, want to want to want to venture in. And I am always more than happy. Like I'll rant on, like I am now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I did a. Um, a begonia care guide video and I hope you all enjoyed it um, let me know in, in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to like touch up on or if um, there's something that I said in my care guide video that you probably are like I didn't know that or that you want to 
understand a little bit more. So just let me know, um, and then I'll, I'll definitely respond back. Uh, but I want to share with you all, so far, uh, my progress in cleaning and organizing. As you see behind me, I've organized all the plants for, for sale on site. Uh, I think it's really important for me as for me being a, a new business, a new plant shop, uh, for people to uh, see the products on hand and check them out. And so I would love, you know, I'm getting it all set up so that way people can eventually see that. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll do all that. And then, I, then I'll eventually get another greenhouse and put it outside. It blew away and it just kind of broke. But let me show you the, um, the progress. So you saw this. This is the first one. And then my Surface Pro. That's what I like um, film with mainly. Um, my little corn plant. I love them. Um, and then I also then that's the second plant shelf from Amazon, and it has a little hanging. Um, little hanging rod right there so I can hang it. I was actually uh, just taking new pictures for the uh, website. Uh, we added a new a new cactus and I was super excited. Um, I've been I've actually been wanting one of these. I just didn't know what it was for the longest. I didn't know if it was a cactus or an orchid. So I really wanted to do some research and then I've looked into it more and now that I know it's it's a cactus. It's a uh, epiphytic uh, cactus. And it blooms. The blooms are are so pretty. Oh my god! So if y'all get this from my website and I ship it to y'all, like, I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, I like this one a lot. Like, I love how curly it is and like wavy. And there's um, the rec rack also that uh, we're adding. So hope y'all like that. Oops. Actually, I'm going to place. Here. And then this one too. So there you all see. Um, you all like my painting. <laughs> um, there you all see the uh, how it is. And so like I also propagate and then I'm, I'm trying out these new new options of like jute poles. This one's a Hoya, and as you see, it's like, uh, it's liking it, it's whole, it's grasping onto it, and there's like new growth emerging from it, so, um, I'm gonna try this out to do on, like, on site and see how people like it. I also have this, uh, rep Reformer Tetrasperma, as you see right here. So the gist of it is, so that way this new leaf that comes out will be uh, larger and also fenestrated as well. But yeah, these will be like propagations and like uh, rescued plants that I'll sell for like a really good discount for y'all. I love this one. This is a Lubersane, I believe. It's a never never plant. It's continuously growing for me. Love it. And then uh, my little grow light area where I kind of do a lot of like rehabs and stuff like that. This one. I was trying to see if this one was good there, but I don't think it could go there. Um, but there's like propagations and. Um, all sorts of different things that I have here. Little secret propagations. Oh, in case y'all are wondering, this is so. This is my new. This is my new humidifier. This is how much I have. Uh, my, my humidity in the room, the, the degrees, everything. So y'all yeah, see. This Hoya Carnosa. I'm gonna actually stake them up. This is not a plant. <laughs> She's so pretty. So don't judge. 
But <laughs> this is my little desk, and he's got to go. I really don't need a desk. Can I? Everywhere is my desk. So this one is now going to be another uh, plant rack. I bought this one over here. It's Vivo Sun plant stand. It's a nine tier. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to put plants on there and it's going to go there. That's, that's my, you know, that's what, I just, it, it, I feel like it's going to look really nice. I, I'm so excited. If y'all haven't, go look up my friend's, uh, website. She has some really cute um, hanging macrame. Uh, hippie, hippie plant hangs. I bought two of them. Uh, I'll show y'all one. This is one of her hangers. Uh, I love it. I just, oh my god. Y'all. It's the Teal Me Not. It's super soft. Uh, and, it, and it came with these little propagation jars. I have my little cystus in there, my begonia, my culotta, uh, and then my adesonia in there. But it's so adorable. She is. She makes these herself. Super, 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 super cute. Love it. All right. Well, I am going to uh, start on the plant stand, and I'll show y'all when I'm done. I hope it doesn't take five hours this time. <laughs> totally kidding. It took like three. All right, everyone. So this is uh, the finished result. I still have some more organizing to do, um, but I have the little shelves all all situated. If it's like really nice to actually like finally have the room coming together, having everything like looking much better than what it was so sweet so happy what kind of plant shelves have y'all bought if y'all have any uh recommendations for any future plant shelves i have ideas my friend uh builds plant shelves also so next time i'm definitely just going to ask him <laughs> hello everyone Welcome to my vlog. They will be the end of my vlog for this week. Um, and I wanted to show y'all what I did this week. Next week I have a lot of things coming up, so stay tuned and I'll be uh, showing y'all some more. But um, this is what I have done. And now I have three plant shelves, everything super organized. All the plants are great. Um, they're all like acclimating. I have everything set up. I have all like, as you see over here, like my little ring light so I can show y'all when I do like my Instagram post. And then um, here are some more uh, plants. I'm thinking about getting a, gr a grow light over here, the same one that I have um, in the other section. But then I have also like my uh, our, our cocoa poles and uh, moss poles also over here with our soil and then um my little humidifier this one still is really good so in time i'll replace you but it keeps it up to the room if i keep it really high up to 80 percent um so i have to watch out for that um because it does get really humid in here but this is the other area the like the recovery area so I have like some begonias and um, a desert rose, a uh, cactus that I'm growing from seed. You might not be able to see it with this camera, but he's right there, that little guy. Um, yeah, some little plants. The African violet propagation that I showed y'all. Some more props. Uh, this is our like new products. Our, this is our soil amendment. This is willow. It's It helps you with uh, your watering. It also leaves a negative carbon footprint what you do is you mix 10% of this 
into any of your f favorite soils, and then you water it with two cups of uh, to the base of any uh, water-loving plant. Uh, I will be doing some uh, trials on site for people to try it out. So I'll be like amending some soils and then uh, repotting them for people so that way they can try it out and see. Um, and if they want to um, purchase a bag and keep it on site for themselves, everyone's always welcome to come by and I'll repot and amend it as needed. Um, but yeah, these are more, um, these are more uh, of my plants as you see here. Some that are recovering on the bottom, some calatheas that are getting there, and then these are the ones that are. I'm going to set aside for uh, an on-site pet, a pet-friendly bundle. So it would be like a calathea, a, um, a hoya, and then a fern. So I'll be I'll be doing some stuff like that on-site, um, and then these are my plants. It's a little bare right now, but. I'll get there, you know. My Hoya pubicalyx uh, that I received, that I bought from um, Hoy uh, from Oasis Plant Shop. Some of my favorite begonias. My little Hoyas. I'm getting into a Hoya kick, as you see. <laughs> yeah. Um, my little African violets that I sadly knocked over its flower to just kind of keep them away from me. Um, <laughs> my Raphid 4 Tetrasperma, um, my String of Hearts, uh, my Jungle Boogie that I super love, um, and then my, uh, Cebu Blue over here. Of course, you have to have a Monstera. I have, like, two, three around here somewhere. But yeah, um, today I'm going to show y'all with some uh, repotting of some veggies and then I'll, to finish off our vlog uh, for this week. Okay, so this is what I've been working for, working on. My outdoor veggies and uh, propagations and all sorts of little things that I have on site so that way people can come by and just, you know, like see what I have and what's available to purchase. Not everything super expensive. <laughs> um, like I've these got a little like rough, but through the recent uh, weather. But these are uh, this is my Kentucky uh, beans. I have to actually water these. I think. Um, here is my little. I don't know what it is. I think it's time I'm reviving that, but I'm going to be repotting this uh, tomatillo over here. As you can see, it needs to be repotted. It's root, re it's root bound, um, so it has those little flowers. It's ready to uh, start. So we'll be doing that today, and then. I'm going to show y'all my trees from the Arbor Day uh, foundation that I received. Planted some trees. Uh, and my begonias. Y'all know I love my begonias. And then just more flowers. Um, the elephant ear bulb that I planted. Look at this guy. Look at Oh my god, there's a little guy too coming out. Oh my god. And then there's this one. And then all my hostas that I need to plant. So, I'll be doing that uh, today or sometime. See right there? I want to show y'all Molly. Go look at these. Oh my god, they're just getting huge, y'all. They're getting a little sun-stressed, as you can see. I'm a big old hosta over there. <laughs> just takes up that whole space. Let's see. Here are my other veggies. 
my peppers. And then I have eggplants and um, I think this one's an eggplant. Where's this eggplant? This is eggplant. Right? <laughs> Which one's five? I know five. Nope, this one's not five. I numbered them. Okay, so this one's eggplant. And then these are my propagations. I just stick them in the soil and they literally just grow. Oh. Oh yeah, there's a monstera. There's some more that I have. He needs water. And then some more propagations. I'm gonna show y'all my kale. So here's my kale, everybody. It looks so good. Forgot to mulch it, um, but I'm going to eventually. It looks really good. I'm so excited. I've never really like grown kale and veggies like this, and it's really nice to see them grow like that. What are y'all currently growing?